Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 25th episode of Let Your Voice Soar. My name is Jeff Alani Stanfield. I'm your vocal coach here at Voice Soaring Studios. Wow, 25 episodes certainly feels like a milestone. And with that, I want to thank you guys and gals who've been on this journey with me from the very beginning. And I want to thank all of you who've recently joined this community of like-minded singers and vocal coaches who are here to learn as much about the voice as possible. I love sharing my knowledge of the voice with you and hope to continue doing so for many, many years to come. Now let's get down to business and talk about ways to release the jaw and reduce jaw tension. First off, you're probably watching this tutorial because you, like me and many other singers, suffer from varying degrees of jaw tension. You may be experiencing light to more prominent pain or tightness in the jaw as you sing, especially in the upper register. If you're not experiencing pain, you may be feeling that you simply don't know where the jaw needs to be as you sing. Is it supposed to be down and back? Is it supposed to be wide open while singing or closed down like a ventriloquist during phonation? Jaw tension is one of the most common challenges I see in many new students who come to my studio. They either have a jaw that is too tight and can barely open their mouths wide enough to release the voice, especially in the upper register, or they open their mouths too wide and wind up shouting throughout their entire range, especially for the high notes. Ideally, we want the jaw to be relaxed, loose, and feeling as if it's not interfering with, but actually helping in the production of sound. The jaw needs to be released enough so that it doesn't jut forward during the transition from chest voice, modal voice, to head voice, light mechanism. Now there are lots of tutorials on the actual mechanics of the jaw, and if you're interested in learning more about all the intricate parts of the jaw, then I encourage you to do as much research as possible. For this video, we're only going to concern ourselves with the five primary parts of the jaw, which are the mandible, or lower jaw, the maxilla, or upper jaw, the TMJ, or temporomandibular joint. This is the connector joint and the part of the jaw that gives so many people problems, especially those that have TMJ disorder. The temporalis, which extends up into the skull, and the masseter, which is the muscle that allows the jaw to open and close. So the first thing we're going to do is to warm up by doing a short massage of the muscles of the jaw. Take your hands and rub them together, like that, yes, and then place each hand on each side of the skull. Now gently rub down all the way, all the way down. You'll start to feel the muscles of the jaw relax immediately. Let's do that about two or three times. When I give this to my students, they're amazed at how quickly the muscles of the jaw relax. One more time. You can do this as many times as you want. And I encourage you to do this several times throughout the day if you're feeling tension in the jaw. Very good. Next, we're going to massage the masseter muscles. These are the muscles which hold the jaw together, and they're the ones that get really, really tight. Okay, so take your knuckles, place them on each side of your jaw, in between the upper jaw and the lower jaw, and then massage like this. I'm gonna do a turning motion. Again. One more time. You can do this as many times as you want. Excellent. Next, you're gonna take your index fingers and then you're going to place them in the muscle between the upper and lower jaw. I want you to press in there. Now, this might feel very, very painful at first, but as you press in there, you'll notice that when you release, your jaw will drop. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to count to five, and on five, you're gonna pull your fingers away. So let's press in there. One, two, 
three, four, five, release. Again, one, two, three, four, five, release. Now, when I first give this to a lot of students, they'll feel a lot of pain, but the more they do this, the muscle will start to relax. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, release. Yes. Now that you've learned a bit about the jaw and have warmed up the muscles of the jaw, let's begin vocalizing. The first exercise is designed to work the chewing muscles while vocalizing on a hum. This will not only begin to warm up the vocal cords and loosen the jaw, but will also begin to open up the resonators of the sinus cavities. We're going to use a simple five tone scale. We're going to start at C3 for the guys, C4 for the ladies, Okay, this is how it works. So you're actually going to hum and chew at the same time as if you're chewing gum, like this. Got that? The idea is to keep the chewing motion going while you're humming and keep that breath motion going as well. Let's do it together. Great, now by yourself. Guys at C3, ladies at C4. Here we go. Let's move up to C sharp. Together. Again. notice that I'm moving my head a little bit as I'm doing the scale. You can actually move your head side to side, you can move it up and down, you can make a circular motion as you're going through the scale. Anything to release tension in the neck while we're doing the scale. Now by yourself. Ready? Let's take it up. Let's hit the key of D. Here we go. Excellent, by yourself. Very good. Let's take it up to E flat. One more time. By yourself. Chewing. Great. Let's take it up to the key of E. Here we go. One more time. By yourself. Here we go. Let's move on to the next exercise. The next exercise is based on the consonant vowel yi, ye, ya, yo, you. You'll notice whenever you put a Y in front of a vowel, the jaw drops automatically. So we're going to do this on one of my favorite scales. The broken arpeggio goes like this. Yi, ye, ya, yo, yu, 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 yu. Now that last part is very important because if you can really relax your jaw, you're gonna notice that everything will just sort of flow. But if you can't relax your jaw enough and get it wagging on that last note, you'll feel a stiffness. So watch again. Got 
Got that? Now guys, you're gonna start at C3. Ladies, you're gonna start at C4. Okay, so let's do this together. Now this might be a little bit high to start with. It's okay to start a little bit lower, but C is a really good place to start for most singers. So here we go. So watch what we're doing. Kind of silly, but really effective. Let's do this again. Now my jaw already feels nice and loose after doing that humming and chewing exercise, and I'm hoping that your jaw is gonna feel a little bit looser as well. Let's do this one more time, here we go. Okay, now by yourself, here we go. All right, let's take it up to C sharp. Ready, here we go. Again. Make sure that you feel that release on all of those Y consonants. Here we go, by yourself. by yourself. Now we're up to the key of E flat. If this gets too difficult for you or too high, just drop out and go back to the very beginning. But for higher voices, this should be okay, okay? Make sure the jaw really releases on the yi, ye, ya, yo, yu. So if you have to practice it by going yi, ye, ya, yo, yu, yi, ye, ya, yo, yu, that will actually help before you put it onto the scale. Here we go, ready? Again. By yourself. Here we go. It's difficult to play that last note on my pinky finger. Here we go. Ready? Again. By yourself. Excellent. Now we're up to the key of F. Here we go. Ready? Again. By yourself. Here we go. Let's go two more. This is the key of F sharp. Time. How about yourself? Now we're in the key of G. The high note is going to be a G. Ready? Make sure your jaw feels nice and relaxed on those consonant vowels. Here we go. Again. By yourself. Now you can take this up as high as you want, but it is important to only take it up as high as you can comfortably. We don't want to introduce any more jaw tension, okay? Let your voice soar, and from voice studio to stage masterclass with tenor David Phelps and me are now available on Vimeo.com. 
We've reduced the price of both programs, and if you add Let Your Voice Soar in the checkout code, you'll receive an additional 10% off of each program. Just click on the link in the description below and head over to Vimeo to purchase both. You'll be glad you did. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let Your Voice Soar. If you have any questions about any of the exercises or concepts presented in this tutorial, please do not hesitate to write me at jeff at voicesoaring.com or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the little thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on the notification button to make sure that you receive all the latest updates and tutorials. I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsors from Superior Vocal Health who make the absolute best health products for singers anywhere, including my favorite, Throat Saver. Add Stanfill and the checkout code to receive 10% off your next order. If you're looking for individualized, one-on-one -on -one vocal coaching, I have studios in Manhattan and in West Orange, New Jersey. If you're not in the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area, I offer voice lessons to singers all around the world online. It doesn't matter where you are or what time zone you're in, we'll find a time that works best for you. Contact me at jeff at voicesoaring.com to set up your first lesson. Check out my website, www.voicesoaring.com, to find out all the wonderful things we offer to singers, including vocal coaching, demo reels, audio recordings, and artist branding. It is a joy to share these videos with you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Until next time, love and respect your fellow human beings. Treat each other with kindness and respect, and let's learn to treat this amazing place we call Earth as our dear friend. We only have this one Earth, and she desperately needs our help right now. Keep singing, and let your voice soar.